Hi, it's Rachel from Team Forget Me Nots. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking or subscribing, or watching another video in the playlist. I went to a viewing day for an auction and found this unloved chest of drawers being quite well hidden and not a lot of interest being taken in it. I was the only one that bid for it and got it for an amazing £10. It's made from solid wood and has really lovely dovetail joints. The only issue it had was one broken handle, but that wasn't a problem as they are easy enough to replace. Before I did anything, I labelled the drawers to make sure that they went back in the right place. As it turned out, all the drawers were slightly different sizes, but it's always a good idea to label them anyway so you're sure. The backs of the handles had a wooden plug, which I thought I would just be able to lever out with some pliers or something like that, uh, alas no. In the end I drilled a hole through them and it went straight through to the front of the handle and still no luck, they were solidly stuck in there. So when in doubt, brute force came into play and I got my trusty hammer and we got them off in the end. I got a 14mm dowel from the DIY shop, which was just a bit smaller than the hole, so it was perfect. I used Gorilla Glue around the edge of the dowel and slotted them all into place and then filled around the edge with wood filler. I gave the whole piece a good wash with white lightning cleaner to get rid of any dirt and grime that had built up over the years. You can tell this piece was in really good condition because I didn't even get carried away with the wood filler this time. I did a couple of quick repairs such as the edge of the top with Dixie Mud and once it was dry I sanded the wood filler flat and then removed the extra dust built up from that with a tack cloth so it was a nice clean surface to start from. I sanded the entire piece just enough to take the shine off and give a good base for the primer to start from. I could tell from initially cleaning the wood that when it was wet it was red toned which meant that it was at risk of bleeding through after it had been painted. So it's particularly important in this case to use a primer before painting to avoid bleed through in the future. And I used Dixie Belle's Boss in grey for this step. I chose a colour that felt perfect for spring and that's Tidal Pool from the Dixie Belle Silk range. For the flat surfaces such as the top and the drawers I used a roller to apply it and then for the mirror's frame I used a round brush which is great for areas like legs or spindles and helps from stopping paint build up around the edges. Normally when painting a mirror I would put either playing cards under the frame to protect the mirror from the paint or even frog tape. In this case there was no space to put even playing cards under the mirror so I didn't worry about getting any paint on the mirror and when I was finished including the ceiling step I used a razor blade to remove any extra paint. This was the first time I used a sponge rather than a brush for applying the top coat and I have to say it's absolutely brilliant, I see why people recommend it. It goes on so smoothly and avoids any brush marks. I did two coats of clear coat in satin as I wanted a slight sheen. And for the final, final top coat I added some white wax. There were a few nice bits of detail on the chest of drawers that I wanted to enhance. I ended up applying white wax to the entirety of the chest and mirror and it gave a really lovely beachy whitewashed look on top of the tide pool green. You can see this big mama's butter is well used and well loved. Its purpose is to refresh the wood so I used it just inside the drawers. It made it all over slightly darker and has a really lovely orange scent to it. On to the most fun bit, I decided to create a little peekaboo effect on the drawers and chose the transfer magnolia garden. I cut out six of the flowers and used one for each side of the three drawers. I applied it with the little ruler tool and then just rubbed it down afterwards with my finger but you could also use a clean cloth to make sure that it's adhered properly. And then it was time to attach the new handles. I used my punch hole locator which works out exactly where you should put the holes together. So I lined up my handle with the punch hole locator, marked the holes with the pencil and then made pilot holes with the drill. It required a little bit of adjustment because each of the drawers was a slightly different size but is a great way for ensuring you've got accurate straight handles. And here we are, the finished piece. A 
goes without saying that my favourite bit has to be the transfer. I think it looks really beautiful and subtle because obviously you don't see it when the drawers are closed. But I also like the whitewash effect, which adds a new dimension to the green. And I think it's a perfect piece for spring. Until next time, bye.